Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back with the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Last episode, we played as Lazarus, did a couple of runs, and didn't get too far with it. We did some crazy stuff that could have been part of the reason why we didn't make it that far, but really, I'm not too ashamed of anything I did. Um... Let's see, who do we want to play as next? Uh, I think we've been avoiding Maggie enough now. Maggie just needs that boss rush and the um, blue baby kill. So maybe we can do a boss rush. I keep, I keep trying. I'm not getting anywhere with it. Shoot. We had a strange item, epic fetus, uh, in the last run with Lazarus that caused us to certainly have some problems adjusting. And I hate this troll stuff. I hate this troll stuff. Yeah, I guess I just need... I'm just gonna keep running. If I want to do get a boss rush, so I need to quit bouncing around, going back and forth there between rooms. Is there any reason to open the shop? No. Is there a reason to shoot these? Yes, but it's not going to get you the boss rush doing it. I think we should really try. Yep. I think I'm going to really try this time, the boss rush. Just ignore things. Completely. People are going to be yelling at me. People are going to say, I can't believe you missed that. I can't believe you missed that. Uh, if I missed it, it's because I'm boss rush. And even these rooms are going to be troublesome for boss rush because just clearing them out takes so long. Still some spiders somewhere running around, this tiny little spider that does damages me somehow. Ugh. Curse of darkness. I don't think I ever turned down the brightness on my TV last time I turned it up because of Curse of Darkness. I think I just uh, liked it better that way and left it. So I, I could be cheating still, but whatever, I, I hate the Curse of Darkness enough to cheat it. I don't like being in the dark. My eyes are getting old. Every part of me is getting old. And it's just too difficult to see. Trivia question if you can recognize this phrase My shoes are too tight, but it doesn't matter because I've forgotten how to dance If you can figure out what if you know where that's from You're probably a cool person And I, I've taken that that saying to heart you never want to get in that situation, allow yourself to be in that situation where you have a problem, your shoes are too tight, this is all allegory, but it doesn't matter to you that you have that problem because you've forgotten how to have fun or enjoy yourself in any way. You don't want to be in that situation, that's a very sad situation. I'll never forget how to dance and get better shoes. I, actually, I can doubly ensure get better shoes. Do not wear bad shoes. Do not wear shoes that have you've worn down or put holes in that will totally, from personal experience, mess up your foot or feet. Both of them. Uh, 
you, you will be in miserable pain, potentially cripple yourself for the rest of your life just because you wore worn out shoes. two soul things why am i pausing why am i looking at the time just rush 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 go to the boss rush quit looking at the map we're really gonna rush this time i have to keep reminding myself Ooh. so this is like some kind of library if i go in the library though i'm going to definitely um If I go in the library, I'm definitely going to pick up an item which is going to negate the Yamart, which is going to, I don't know, slow it down. There is no item to my knowledge that's going to severely help. I guess the Book of Belial will double your damage, uh, or give, it doesn't double your damage, it gives you two times, no, 2.0 plus damage. And that's the highest. It doesn't double, and it doesn't two times, which is doubling, said a different way. But most damage of items give you less than 2.0. It's usually one point something, or something even less. Hey. Charm of the Vampire kills heal. Come on, stop moving. Do I want to run back there? Mm. Let's let's see. Let's think about this. Let's go do this first. Fight Monstro, and then we'll decide if we want to run back there. Of course, this controls down a lot. Balls of steel. Well, at least we know what that pill is. I think we could get rid of the... At four subbullets, I think we could probably get rid of the Yum Heart and be alright. You usually drop... They usually drop enough red hearts that if you're lucky, you'll do fine anyways. So the Yum Heart becomes increasingly yet less useful as you become a better player and it's not really that much that, that extremely useful even at the very beginning because it takes four rooms to charge to get one heart most of the time you get more hearts anyways at least half a heart in every four rooms if not a lot more boss rush we're gonna boss rush we got two keys I think it's worth it let's go see what else is over there all right what does three do okay so I've recently figured out 
that the rooms I want are two, three, four. You don't want one, five, and six for the dice rooms. So since this is a three, I think it's one I want. Yeah, I think it just re-rolled these items, which is fine. Two coins. That's a great deal to change two pennies into a ball monkey. Notice that that room looked like a... Um, oh, it re-rolled everything. Were there any other items on the floor worth picking up? Nope. Alright. I got the lucky rock and the luck shoot. No. No. Okay, I'm safe. For a second there I thought that was the one that gives you the circular thing. I was, I was like, no, I don't want that. I definitely don't want that. Man, I how am I gonna rush when I keeps giving me stuff. It's like petrified poop is gonna give me stuff now. Oh man. How am I gonna make this rush? I, I, I'm trying to rush. I really am, but oh man. They've given me everything. Look at that, an eternal heart. Wasn't even thinking about that. Wow. I just got lucky. I just hit like the jackpot. See, I could blow up these rocks too, but Golden Key gets me in here for free. Soul Converter is not the best item at the moment. See what we do with this bomb. Alright, nothing. So, keys, pills, bomb pills, soul heart pills. I think we go soul heart and either we take a pill or a bomb. Let's take a pill. Let's put these up here. Got lucky. Got really lucky. If I had some kind of stompy or other infinite way of blowing up rocks, I'd be blowing up these rocks for more stuff even, but let's just call this a day. So how am we gonna make the rush with when I have this problem here? Give my heart, curse and amaze. No problem for me, I'm gonna skip it. So as long as I can use that thing one more time in the next couple of floors, should be fine. Blow up over there, blow up over there. Pheromones, we know what that does now. Soul Converter might have been more useful since I had the Kiss of the Charm of the Vampire. But it would have been a little painful to do. And I didn't have enough for coins for it anyway, so it's not like that was even an option.
That was definitely not a room where I could have just stayed at the doorway. At least it didn't look that way. Alright. So here's exactly what we wanted. Let's get this item, trinket. I guess we could have run around the other floor and got an item too. Worth it to keep teleport. What's the probability? Probability is pretty low that you'll get an item in our room. Probability is pretty high. If I keep running around, though, I'll be able to find a. Um, Oh, what am I trying to say? Find a shop. Look for a shop. Because I have 15 coins now. Since I've already been all over this floor anyways. Taking too much time still for a boss rush. <laughs> well, the next shop will only be further away. <laughs> Judas' tongue. Uh, Judas's tongue would be useful. It takes, it costs one less soul heart and deals with the devil when you have Judas' tongue. But we're skipping floors here. So, is not going to be super useful? So hearts in the jar, not useful, buying two key. From what I figured, this is literally just two keys for 15. So the only time it's worth it is when this is on sale. That's the best I can figure with that. I don't think it's ever worth it anymore. Right, so let's use this, grab this, and Put the rest in here. We're over 850. Nothing's happened. No big surprise there. This is the last floor I can skip if I want to get to the boss rush, which is great. Darn it. He's given me a path to the this place instead. Do I want the red candle? No. Do I want the pill bag? Sure. Range down. Bombs are key. Health up. Range up. Range down. Alright, so let's take this and this and we have no coins to give we have nothing here to give so let's put a bomb here I guess I could have done that 
Uh, after this, we're not gonna need that, so let's... Do I want that? No. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, these guys are just gonna give me nothing. A couple coins. Notice here, if you leave by the door or the floor, it just takes you to the same place. So we need to now charge up our thing again and see if we can skip. Man, this is an unfair room to be fighting this guy in. Oh, well, at least they're not brimstone yet, but still pretty bad. Again, it gave me the option for the soul converter. Again, I turned it down. The kids of the vampire working again, giving me health, but it's not giving me soul hearts, and that's all I really have. I could have used the soul converter, could have turned some soul hearts back into red hearts, but I chose not to. Maybe it was a dumb decision. Maybe it was the right decision. I have half a mind to go into that challenge room and use the shovel there. It'd be nice if I had the Emperor card at the moment. Oh, come on. Is this gonna be the end of me? This is unfair. Pay attention. Ah. <sighs> and you know what I did so nice last episode? I looked at the clock. I have no idea how long I've been going. I didn't look at the clock again. <sighs> I gotta I gotta train myself to do that. We're gonna do one more run with Maggie. And then we're going to call it a day. Where did we go wrong in that last run? Did we trade away our lives so easily? Did we try and rush it? Still going to try and boss rush, why not? I mean, we got really lucky at points there, and we still didn't make it. That's the beauty of Isaac, though. I mean, it doesn't matter if one thing happens. You gotta have several lucky things to happen to win, or you're gonna get, on the other end, you're gonna get several bad things happen to you that are, are totally unfair, and you'll lose to no real fault of your own. I suppose you might even make the argument you lose Isaac as soon as you start start playing. You've agreed to the terms and service of losing this game as soon as you start playing. But that's all right. This game is about losing, really. It's as much about losing as it is winning. That's a little bit more about winning, but. I don't think you'd be having the proper of Isaac experience if you came in and played Isaac and beat all the challenges and all of the bosses and did everything to 100% and never died at once. You wouldn't be having a true Isaac experience there. You'd also be questionably a 
super, super, like, overpowered professional gamer if you did that. <laughs> I mean, you might want to just retire at that point. If games offer you no challenge, you might just want to shut down the shop and go home. That's what I did with puzzles when I used to do puzzles as a kid. I, they stopped offering any challenge whatsoever. Um, and I just retired. I said, you know what? I'm going to go out on top. And I really don't have any um, interest in ever doing a puzzle again. I'll do one. They're fine. They're mildly distracting. But they're just too easy. Just too easy. Maybe if I was smart, I would like, look at some kind of championships and see if I really am that good. Uh, I bet I'm not. I bet it still would take me long, long, longer to do a puzzle than a professional competitor. Such a thing exists for a jigsaw puzzle. That's what I'm talking about, j jigsaw puzzles. But, I guess I, I might have been a contender if I stuck with it and known such a thing existed. And if such a thing actually did exist back in my youth, which it probably didn't. But yeah, if I'd stuck with that, I might have been a competitor. Might be running... Some alternate reality version of me might be running around making... I can't imagine millions, but let's say in this alternate reality it's a really popular sport. Yep, somebody could be running around making milk. Some alternate version of me. Alas, I have to live in this reality, which almost certainly is the worst reality. Nah, there could be a lot worse ones. <laughs> I could, I could imagine at least a dozen um, different realities that were worse for me. I'm a big fan of this movie called The One. It has Jet Li in it. Uh, I'm probably too big of a fan. It's not a good enough movie to deserve my fandom as much as it gets it, but I love I love it. Uh, basically, it's Jet Li from one reality, one u universe, um, where they have the ability and police, so there are actual cops running around from universe to universe, um, capturing criminals who jump from universe to universe to pull off crimes and such. And then the person who looks exactly like them from that universe gets thrown in jail instead of the, the interdimensional criminal. It's a little complicated storyline. It, it, it doesn't play off as complicated at all, I will tell you that much. Because it is really just fight scene and between fight scene with a few uh, dialogue choices, scenes in between. But, but the awesomeness of it is that the evil Jet Li, well the, the cop Jet Li version, uh, accidentally kills a copy of himself he, so he kills himself from a different dimension and because he does this he gets more powerful and so do all the other jet leaves in all the other dimensions and so instead of just leaving it at that the cop jet Lee goes into um, he just starts killing all the other versions and it, apparently there's not an unlimited number of multiverses there's only like 47 or something and so it gets down you end in the movie with the the cop that's turned evil now and is killing all the versions of himself who is really really strong because he's killed all the other versions of himself and gotten their some power somehow it's kind of like Kylander I guess in, in that sense it making sense but 
but the theory really falls apart, I'll just as a sidebar, if there was a multiverse, which we yet, science has yet to prove, it thinks there is, but it has no proof, uh, it hasn't proven it yet, um, if there is a multiverse, and for some insane reason it did make the humans of each universe more powerful when the others, other copies died, well then that would mean as every single person got older and their copies died, they should get stronger and healthier and better. And that's just not what happens, we, we can observe that that does not occur. People get older, they get weaker and more decrepit. So, it's a, it's a cool concept and that's, that's a movie conceit there for sure, but, ooh, do I want to get Horror of Babylon? No, do I want to get the Book of Belial? This is dumb. This is real dumb. <laughs> Alright, so... So the movie gets... To get back to the, to the Jet Li, the one movie, the movie starts off with the cop who's turned evil, who's killing all his copies, is down to the last one, and it's just this nice... Jet Li guy, I think he's like a veterinarian or something, and they fight for the like next two hours of the movie. It's pretty much just straight up fight. Mm. Oh. And it is the most awesome fight because you, they do the like CG. It was pretty early CG, but not super early CG movie where they green screen the face of Jet Li on one of the other guys so that one of his understudy companions so you see Jet Li fighting Jet Li for a lot of the movie it also has Jason Statham in it so I mean yeah. if you want an action movie and you got Jet Li and Jason Statham I mean that's gonna appeal to a lot of people and like I said, I really love this movie and it probably does not deserve as much love as I give to it. They put some like Rob Zombie soundtrack on it that uh, at times is a little offensive, but it also super like amps you up listening to it. Like, you can really get into the speed and the flow of everything. Let's see. Oh, come on. Whatever. I don't know where I'm going. And so that's the end of that movie review. Uh, Kane's eye may see your destination. I, I haven't picked up Kane's eye before. We just recently unlocked it. What? What? Look at. So. May you see your destination. Does that work better with like the fortune teller machine? We keep unlocking things. Always give the sacrifice room a try, might as well. Unless I was boss rushing, which I was supposed to be boss rushing, but then I started talking about movie, so I'm probably way, way, way far behind at this point. If I was really gonna boss rush. I bet I'm super, super behind at this point. I got distracted. 
so bad at trying to do things fast. Alright, so... Pills? Darn it. Darn it. Full health. Eight fifty-five. I like to drive. Eight fifty-five. No, I don't. I don't even like to drive, let alone drive fast. I don't even know what that saying is. It's like drive 55 on, on Route 65 or drive 65 on Route 65. I think there's a route number in it. I think that's part of it. that pill, whatever. Ooh, band-aids. Still haven't gotten bandage girl. Oh, me boy to their maximum level. I will eventually though, so I'm not too worried about it. They can be quite useful. When they, once they get to their third and fourth levels, they're pretty useful. Not super useful at the moment. See, I don't, I don't understand what the whole Babylon is doing. It, it's just not activating. Hey, we could still make the boss rush if we hurry. Come on, boss room. Where are you? I... Wow. All these dead ends. I mean, just wow. Look at all these dead ends. I went to three different ways, hit three different dead ends. That's it for me. What did I talk about? I don't even know. I don't know. Man. Two Maggie runs. I talked about the one in the movie. I remember talking about that, but what else did I talk about? I have no idea. But. We got all the endings unlocked. We got. 
68 more secrets to unlock. Need to do some more runs. Need to fill out all these stamps. We tried the boss rush. I don't think we'll be boss rushing next episode or for any time any soon. I mean, it just isn't paying off. I'm still not good enough. I'm getting better, but I'm still not good enough. Hmm. Anyways, as always, please, please, like, share, subscribe, and watch every second of the episode. All of this helps out. And go ahead, you have my permission to have a good evening.